Hey guys, good morning. Uh, today I'm working on our P48 project, which is our 1948 Chevy 3100. And I am fitting the rear axle uh, into the truck. Uh, I've had it mocked up for uh, a week or so, looking at it, seeing what I like, trying to figure out uh, how I want to space the wheel within the wheel tub of the uh, rear fenders. Um, and I've got it where I want it now. Uh, I did some research online looked at a lot of pictures of stock 3100s and they all seem to have the rear tire biased up inside the fender at ride height which the front edge of the fender at ride height which I didn't really dig on that so um, I wanted to move it back a little bit um, so that it fills up more of the arch and um, still leaves the trailing edge of the arch open in the back very back bottom of the fender uh, but at ride height would tuck a good amount of tire and look even and level uh, within the fender. So uh, that's where I've got it set up. Um, I've got my front spring perches located. Uh, I temporarily bolted the wheels onto the axle, although I don't have my wheel spacers, so they're not fully seated against the rear discs, the rear rotors. Um, but it's good enough for now to take some of the weight off of uh, off the axle so that I could move it around. Um, I've got everything cleaned up with a flap disc ready to weld so I'm going to get under there and put some good heavy tacks down. I'm not going to fully burn them in yet uh, but I'm going to tack it pretty heavy in a lot of different spots so that um, so that I can put the weight of the truck on that rear axle and, uh, and get it sitting down at ride height. I'm also going to uh, fit up our drop blocks. Um, the truck came with some pretty tall blocks so I'm going to go ahead and throw those back under there. Um, but I don't have U-bolts long enough uh, to fit around the axle tube and, and over the block. So in order to uh, get this thing down on the ground so we can determine if we want to go low with it or if we want to keep it moderately low between you know where it sits now just on the leaf springs and where it's going to sit on these 3-inch blocks, um, i got to get 3-inch blocks on there. And I don't have any long enough U-bolts. So, just for mock-up purposes, I am uh, I welded some U-bolts together. Just for mock-up. Never going to drive it like this. So, I'm hoping that they hold together long enough for me to uh, get this thing down on the ground, on the 3-inch blocks, see how it sets. Uh, the owner's going to come take a look at it uh, this weekend and see if he likes that height. And with the back hammered at three inches I can cut the coils in the front and get the front down too so that's what this is about won't be driven on these <laughs> welded u-bolts um, just for mock-up purposes I know I'm gonna get flamed so I might as well cover that as well as I can that this is just for mock-up so for all the rest of you that have common sense that understand that this is just for mock-up I'm sorry but uh, I gotta I feel like I gotta make sure I put that out there because otherwise I will get torn apart so there we go I got my my four hokey hokey modified u-bolts here and I didn't even weld the inside and I didn't prep them at all I just uh, cut them on the chop saw knocked the knocked the chip off of there weld them together so this was in no way meant to hold any kind of uh, torque stress or braking stress has just got to hold that axle to the leaf springs for a few days so uh, there you go sorry to have to go into depth so much about that but uh, watch the comments you'll see what I mean today I should get the wheel spacers so I can bolt those on all the way around and move the wheel out where it's going to sit uh, within the fender and with the blocks on there it should go pretty low and look pretty mean uh, if we need to go lower we can always uh, Go with. I think I'm going to try a shorter shackle. I've got a couple in the back uh, in my shed that I think might be a little bit shorter than that, and definitely a better looking shackle than that than what's on here. Um, so I think we're going to go with those. And uh, you know, if we got to go lower, we can always take out a leaf spring and let it settle lower, um, which is something I had to take into account when I centered the wheel up. Uh, was how much the spring is going to flatten with the weight of the vehicle on it because uh, as, as the leaf spring flattens out 
You know, it starts out as an arch and as it flattens, it pushes the wheel center back in the wheel tub. So I had to kind of ballpark that into my measurements. If we take a leaf spring out, it's going to flatten a lot more than it will uh, just with the weight of the truck on it as is on blocks. So, you know, you have to calculate all that in. If you, if you center the wheel perfectly centered with your spring arched and then you put the weight of the vehicle on it, it's going to push that axle back and then your wheel's not going to be centered anymore. I ended up moving the center line of the axle rearward about two inches and that will pull the tire out from the inside of the fender in the front and center it up in the wheel well um, and still give us enough room to run a 20 inch 20 inch wheel. Um, you know that's hopefully where we go with this down the road and it should put a 20 just slightly biased to the for, to the front of the vehicle which will make it fit that fender correctly. Um, it won't be dead center and it won't be tucked up in the front of the fender like the stock wheel. Uh, the stock wheels are um, if you look at pictures online, you'll see that the stock front tire is tucked way up inside that front fender edge. So by moving it back two inches, um, we get the wheel mostly centered in the wheel arch. Uh, the trailing edge of the rear fender will still be exposed, so you can see the back side of the tire, which I think looks nice. And uh, it fits really well this way. So yeah, I'm going to fire up the MIG welder and um, use my Miller 211 for this and uh, get these... Spring, spring hangers tacked onto the frame. Okay guys, so just a quick update. You saw me playing around with the ride height a little bit on the 48 here. Um, right now, what it's looking like is I've got the front end at about ride height. And uh, the rear end, we've got too much block on it, which is why I welded together those U-bolts. I just wanted to see, you know, you need to see both extremes. Where it's at um, without any drop block and where it's at at full drop block because we're not ready to go airbags and four link yet so we're gonna have to run blocks for the time being um, but we're gonna run a shorter block than what we've got we've got a three inch one I just wanted to see what it would be like at the extreme uh, what we're probably gonna end up running is a two inch block cast iron block proper heavy u-bolts I like 5 8 u-bolts um, and with the rear shackle hanger in place, that will raise the back of the truck up about uh, probably two and a half inches. So that should be just right. Tucking a little bit of rubber, but not tucking rim like we are right now. So uh, the owner of the truck's on his way over here right now. He's going to take a look at it. We're going to discuss all this stuff and see uh, what he thinks, and then I can cut down the coils because I need to have his okay or this ride height where I want to set it at um, before I start chopping them coils up. Because once you cut them too short, you, there's no going back. So uh, I'm going to take it a quarter coil at a time, fit both sides because right now it's sitting lopsided on the floor jack. It's leaning to one side, so one side's a little bit lower than the other for some reason. I must not have got it right dead center on the cross member. So uh, I'm going to cut both coils quarter of a coil at a time until we get it close and then I'll probably go a little less than that and get it dialed in so that it's exactly where we want it. Um, and right now I love the front end. I think it's perfect. Uh, the back needs to come up like I said that two inches and I'd leave it just like that and rock the hell out of it. Uh, it's a great looking, really looks great on the ground. Um, so I'm waiting to get his approval here and we'll uh, then I can start chopping coils. So I went ahead and put the truck on the ground. Um, and just for fun, 
I dropped the front down as far as my jack would go with the four inch block sitting on top of it. The truck will set flat if, uh, if that block wasn't there. Um, and if the rear leaf springs were a four link. Anyway, maybe that'll come down the road. Thing looks great. I'm really liking the wheel position front and rear. So let me give you a walk around of what it looks like. This is full dump sitting on a four inch block on the jack. Actual ride height will be quite a bit higher than this in the front, but I think it looks awesome. Well guys, that's pretty much going to wrap it up for me for today for a uh, video on the truck. Uh, I've got some more work ahead of me tomorrow. I've got to cut these coils down to size. Um, the owner of the truck came by and we discussed uh, ride height, where we want to set it at. And I'm going to order uh, a little bit shorter rear block. Uh, and I'm going to pull a leaf spring out of that pack. So between the 2 inch block and pulling the spring out, we should be... Uh, we should be probably an inch, uh, maybe an inch and a half higher than where we're sitting at in the back now uh, once the shackle hanger is in place. So all of those things combined uh, will we'll raise the back up a little bit and won't be setting quite so low. I like it low, but uh, it's, uh, you know, drivability is a concern with this project, so we're going to we're going to set it at a moderate ride height, not uh, not scraping the ground. And then down the road when we do airbags and a four-link, um, at that point we'll set the thing as low as we can get it. Um, so that's it for today, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you like the content, please click like and subscribe. And uh, I'll get the next video up here of modifying the coils tomorrow.